السلام علیکم ویوز میرا نام ہے مراج کامران اور میرے چینل کا نام ہے ایکسپلور کیمسٹری اور اگر اب تک آپ نے میرا چینل سبسکرائب نہیں کیا ہے تو جلدی سے سبسکرائب کیجیے آج کی ویڈیو بہت انٹرسٹنگ ہے کیونکہ آج کی ویڈیو میں میں لائی ہوں آپ لوگ کے لیے ایک کوئز ہاؤ مچ آئی لائک کیمسٹری کوئز This quiz will reveal your interest for chemistry. ये quiz आपको बताएगा कि आपको chemistry कितनी अच्छी लगती है और आपको chemistry में कितनी मेहनत की ज़रूरत है अगर आप एक chemistry के student हैं तो चलिए start करते हैं quiz. अच्छा quiz का सबसे पहला question है chemistry is the study of three options I will give you. You have to choose any one option. Option A is matter and energy. Option B is matter and its state. Option C is all about matter. You will get 5 seconds to answer. Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. Now I will tell you the correct answer. If you have answer, you choose the answer matter and energy, then you got only one star. Means the correct answer is not. If you have chosen metal and its states, you got two stars. Means ये भी correct answers नहीं है, लेकिन थोड़ा सा करीब है correct answer के. The correct answer is all about metal. And if you have chosen this option, you got three stars. This is the correct answer. Next question is, a scientist is working for decreasing global warming. On which branch of chemistry he is working? Option A is environmental chemistry option b is inorganic chemistry option c is nuclear chemistry and your time starts now okay if you have chosen environmental chemistry you got three stars because this is the correct answer and if you have chosen inorganic chemistry you got two stars if you have chosen nuclear chemistry you got one star Question number three is, who can determine the composition and purity of rain water? Option A is an environmental chemist. Option B is an inorganic chemist. Option C is an analytical chemist. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. If you have chosen environmental chemistry, you got two stars. If you have chosen an organic chemist, you got one star only. And if you have chosen an analytical chemist, you got three stars. Next question is, who can find the age of a fossil? Option A is organic chemist. Option B, nuclear chemist. Option C is biochemist. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. If you have chosen option A, organic chemist, you got two stars. If you have chosen option B, nuclear chemist, you got three stars. And you have chosen if biochemist, you got only one star. Now question number five is, what are the main gases found in sun? And options are A, nitrogen and oxygen, B, oxygen and carbon dioxide, C, hydrogen and helium and your time starts now time's up if you have chosen nitrogen and oxygen you got two stars if you have chosen oxygen and carbon dioxide you got one star and if you have chosen hydrogen and helium you got three stars okay next question is question number six how many carbs means carbohydrates and sugars should a diabetic patient have a day? This can be suggested by Option A, a biochemist Option B, an inorganic chemist Option C, an analytical chemist Your time starts now Okay, time's up If you have chosen A, biochemist, you got three stars and if you have chosen B, organic chemist, you got one star. And if you have chosen C, analytical chemist, you got two stars. Now next question is, energy of a gas molecule is higher than the energy of a solid molecule. 
This concept is studied in option A, physical chemistry, option B, inorganic chemistry, option C, nuclear chemistry. And time starts now. Okay, let's see what's the correct answer. If you have chosen physical chemistry, you got C stars. Means this was the correct answer. If you have chosen B in organic chemistry, you got two stars. And if you have chosen C in nuclear chemistry, you got one star only. Okay, let's move towards the next question. That is question number eight. The study of hydrocarbon is option A environmental chemistry, option B inorganic chemistry. Option C, organic chemistry. Your time starts now. Okay, time's up. If you have chosen A, environmental chemistry, you got only one star. For B, inorganic chemistry, you got two stars. And if your answer was C, organic chemistry, you got three stars. Now, question number nine is, which branch of chemistry is the study of manufacturing art to convert a metal into a useful material and your options are option A environmental chemistry option B physical chemistry option C industrial chemistry you got 5 seconds to answer okay time's up if you have chosen A environmental chemistry you got 2 stars if you have chosen B physical chemistry you got only 1 star if you have chosen industrial chemistry, you got the stars. Good. Now, last question of the quiz is, what are the two most abundant gases in our atmosphere? And options are, option A, nitrogen and oxygen. Option B, hydrogen and nitrogen. And option C, carbon dioxide and oxygen. And your time starts now. Okay, time's up. If your answer was nitrogen and oxygen, you got three stars. If your answer was hydrogen and nitrogen, you got one star only. And if you have uh, you have answered carbon dioxide and oxygen, you got two stars. Now it's time for the result. But before going towards result, you have to count your stars. Jitne bhi stars aapko mile har ek question mein, unhe sum up karke count kar lijiye. If a star's count is from 21 to 30, then congratulations, you love chemistry, you have deep interest in chemistry and you should pursue chemistry as your career. Congratulations. If a star's count is from 11 to 20, it means you are okay with chemistry. You can improve your result by just little hard work. Not very bad. It's average result. But if your star count is from 1 till 10, then it means you are very bad in chemistry. You do not like chemistry at all and you need to work very, very hard. If you are studying chemistry as a subject, then you need to work very hard. I hope you like this quiz. If you like this quiz, please subscribe, share and please subscribe, share and like my video. My next video will be history of an atom. Thank you.